All right, so I changed it up. Oh, by the way, I just realized this the, uh, while I was looking at Pac-Man sales, trying to discern the other day if the Pac-Man Championship 2, which one, which where it is free and for what. So Pac-Man versus the thing that came, like thing that came packaged with uh, Pac-Man World 2 after the Game Boy, the Game Boy Advance GameCube connector was announced. That's available now at for free via the uh, from the free Namco Museum demo. So I found that up. But by the way, I just want to mention, I know I've mentioned amongst many servers, Pac-Man Championship Edition 2 is free on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Free. F-R-E-E. -E, as in, go get it on multiple devices if you want. Anyway. Let's, ma let's make a Mario. Sorry, I'm thumbing through so much crap right now. Okay, I'm just reading through stuff. Um, there we go. Okay, so a stage I wanted to make. Ah, uh, not no. So a stage I've wanted to make is oddly enough in the uh, 3D World style. For excuse me, for one purpose only. Oh. Oh, excuse me. And that is, I want to make a level. That's not what I want. Uh, what's the... I want to make a level all around clear pipes. I have an idea, but uh, the type of world, the type of world I want to do, no, that's fine actually, we'll do with this. I can always change it if I don't like it later. Uh, no auto scroll. Uh, yeah, there's Guma Mass now, I think. So if I come up to... Gosh, how do I find it now? I guess if I hold... Oh, changing the theme. God, I have I've have I haven't had to make a level this way in a while, so I don't know how to make it. Uh do this. Uh There's like a wheel. That 
That's what I want. This whole wheel right here, yeah. But anyway, that's not here and now. So the whole idea of this level is... I want to make... Uh, we're gonna start the level low as possible, and then I want to make... How uh, is it? Here's how I want to start making the levels. I want to do this. And I want to make it two blocks high. Like, uh, oops, not that. I'll fill things in as time goes along. I kind of want to just make it a... I kind of want to follow the script. But the whole thing I want to do here is... Um, let me let me set it up. Let me get this grid set up here. Just so I can kind of get my head on straight first off. So I need... Now then, I need a Goomba. Uh, I need a, I need a big Goomba, so he'll fit in here. And the whole idea is, oops. Again, I'm just getting the basics of the setup. So, the whole idea of this is, is I want people to be greeted with this. And much like in making something, uh, other things, uh, uh, making other levels. Hold on, get up there. Oh, no. Uh... Okay, I don't like that, that you have to draw it all at once. Okay. So the whole thing here is I want to take the- is I want to make this pipe. And I do want it to snake around and curve a lot. Because the whole idea is I want it to... Is basically, I want people to, what I want to, to do is to have, uh, then maybe, I'm, the goo may have to go back actually a little bit. The whole idea is I want people to be like, well, how do they get past it? Go and pipe. Loop back around. Come back out, and you're safe. That's the whole idea of this level. So then I have to take, I now have to take that idea. Er, uh, I already forgot my button. What was the button? No, it wasn't I do. Anyway, I'm kind of like building it like this because I want to mess around with this in a little bit. Because I got to like, I got to fill this in this level in more. I don't think it, this, I don't think this level will feature much of the new stuff. This is an idea I've had since I finished playing the story mode for, this is an idea I've had since I finished playing the story mode of, uh, of this game. Player starts here.
Good point. Uh, this, this. Thank you very much, Shade. That will help immensely. Is it over here? Where's the one way? Am I dumb? I'm mean, upset if it doesn't if it's not in the steam. Well, there is a way to counteract that then. Okay, that's a protected area, so never mind. It has to be like that. Or, what I could do is I could just grab the whole affair that I've got so far. I can refill this later. Grab the whole affair and just slide it up one. I mean, this is the best fix I can give. Okay, I see. I see. Okay, I'm following. I'm following what you're saying. Plus, you're going to start off small here anyway, so this is fine. Uh, hold on. So get out of this mode. Just fill this in up here. Yeah, because you're going to start off small anyway, so. So you do this, and be like, oh no, a Goomba, how do I get past? And it does this. And then you can just go along your way. Okay. So now that I've done that, um, I kind of want to keep this whole thing going here, but now then, at this point, I need to introduce... Donut blocks. Because if I'm thinking right, uh, Goombas... I gotta try this out really quick here. But I'm pretty sure Goombas don't trigger donut blocks, right? Right, Goombas do not trigger donut blocks. So now we keep this trend up. And we, uh... Make him a hoppy lad, too. This level may not be very long, so this is kind of an... Okay, hold on. I have to start here. And then... It... Dang it. And the thing is, I don't want this level to be super hard either. Yeah, I don't want this level to be super hard either. I just want it to be... 
the right amount of hard. Uh, no, I think the idea is I kind of want to mess around with how these Goombas move. So with how he's moving, I kind of want to make it so you can't just like stand there and wait for him to approach. You have to go in first. The thing is like introducing the thing with the level, and this is kind of like a Mario staple, but it's like introduce a concept. It's usually it, this level won't be short, but it's like introduce a concept. Start building upon the concept. And next one will be like Make sure the person understands the concept. That is true. He could turn around and start chasing me. He could turn, turn around and start chasing. Although he won't get far enough really for it to be an issue. Especially with how most players play. So I'm going to just... Go loose on, go fast and loose in this one. Leave it be. And a couple coins to taunt people. Right, but I think what it is is once I like cement the concept. Now here's where I'm gonna I'm gonna have fun with it and make it hard because once you get once they get to this point, I'm gonna combine everything at once. And make it harder. So there's only going to be this. There's going to be... There's going to be a Goomba. Hard approaching. And you don't have time to wait around here. So you have to get into a pipe. But the pipe... And this may just end up where you just stomp the Goomba. But the pipe is only going to be that long. So it comes down to timing. Like I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit it with the uh, beta, with the beta try here. Uh, maybe if I gave it a place to stand, you know, the thing that it might need to actually be a threat. Yeah, that. Uh, yep. Perfect. That's exactly kind of what I want. Uh, he won't become much of an issue. So. He does not give up the chase, does he? But yeah, they won't fall through these platforms. So then, now that we got that. So, we let people come along here. And I'm gonna do this. We're, we'll probably iron out some stuff in post. But then once now that I got that... So then we go on to leg two of this level. Damn it. Stop that. I just now realized they can go into these pipes. But my hope is that they won't be that much of an issue that will cause a problem, so... Okay, so we can't go that crazy. Well, we can make more pipes. Alright, so this is like going to be Mark 2 of this whole level. Again, this level won't be super long. But we're going to try... We're basically trying it with other things at this point. So... Fill in everything else at this point.
No, they can't climb, but they can go in pipes. So I'm thinking my idea might be a little, a little foobard. We're just going to make the ground like that for a little bit, and I'm going to surround this over here a little bit. And then fill this all in. So what you're saying is do that. Well then how does the player get in? Yeah, because if I move the pipe, the, the block up, the you, player can't get in. Because if, if a pipe's not flush with the ground, a player can't enter it. I think I am actually following what you're saying a lot more now. Which... So to slowly bring this whole contraption up, and I'll fix this in a minute, but... Bring the whole contraption up a step. And then bring this whole contraption up two steps. Keep the Goombas from going back up. I think I'm following. And then that whole pipe got deleted, so that's cool. Let, let, this is fine. So then once we're here, put a block there and there and delete these two blocks and that block, why not? And then I get my pipe back and start making my big old snake road pipe. No, not that way. I, not that way. I don't want, I don't want to go out here this far. I want to be like here. And I'll, I'll fix the undersides of those steps in a minute, but I just kind of want to get like the basic premise here. Plus staying small will also help this all and whatnot. I could move the end goal farther back if I can think of more ways to use this, but... So now that we have this up here... The next thing is going to be There we go. I feel better about this right now. And I kind of want people to get plopped down onto this here, so So, the fun tube is just that, a fun tube. And maybe I'll add little flares, little flares and visual things in, inside there in a minute. Alright, so what other enemy could we use? Um, what other enemy could we use then to kind of help drive this point home? Not so much a pipsqueak because they stay put. Not a boo. Definitely not anybody here. Actually, maybe him.
All right, so follow me on this one. Now it's going to get like high speed chase kind of scenario. So he's going to start there. And you, in because there isn't as much that you have to dodge around, you have to... You have to time it here so he kind of zoops right underneath you. And don't worry, I have a follow-up solution here for this. So make it so he's on solid ground. And then this dips down. And then we'll have land like this here so we can't follow you back. And then we'll do it again here. See, it's like constantly... No, not that way. It's... uh, Stop doing that. It's constant. It's constantly going to be zipping and zooping around here. And it's all going to require your expertise in timing to get around it. So this one's longer. But that's because I'm going to have... What the plan is, is I'm going to have two of these boys coming at you. Maybe even three. I'll mess around with three and see how that works. And actually, because of how they're set for it, I might want to actually move them back a little bit. But basically, this, this. And then I'll make a uh, slope. This is, this is something I'm going to mess around with in, like, everything, but. But, like. But yeah, like, make a slope here so, like, you can get out, but they can't. So, I'll just fill that in, and I'll, and I'll make it prettier in just a minute. And that brings us here. So we're at this point now where we've got this. And I've got and I just had another idea here. Like this is like just all the same concept constantly, but I want to keep it going, keep it evolving. So you get here, and then I think I'll put another pipe here. I'll make another brick there, why not? I'll put another pipe here to get you down here. And then we'll do it again. But now what's going to happen here... The idea I want to happen here is dodging... Uh, how do I want to do this? <laughs> yeah, the thing I want to do here is I thought about using the bombs, but also, um, I want to use the bombs, but I also want to have them set up where they get hit by a uh, they get hit by a lava bubble as well, so that they're lit. And the idea is to escape the explosion. And I know I can just spawn lava bubbles with a pipe, and hopefully they just fall into the bottomless abyss and disappear. That's my hope. Can you? Let's put one down and find out. You can. Okay. So you can start them off lit. Like, this is kind of really like a lot of the same thing over and over again, I understand. But this is like, this is how a Nintendo would make a level is just find a gimmick and abuse the gimmick.
Uh, so anyway. I know how to introduce this concept. Hold on, I got it. So the first thing I'll do is... We'll put a bomb in a pit by itself. But what you got to do is you have to then jump off the bomb to get up to a pipe up here-ish and stay and you know it'll I'll make it a big old pipe maze as long as I can make it just to avoid the explosion but that'll put forth the the thing of now they're going to be exploding bombs now you need to be in there long enough to also avoid the explosions I actually try that point home a lot harder if I make a safe spot to land on but make a safe spot to land on, away from the explosion, and then let the player jump back into the pipe after it explodes. Alright, we have something. We got something big here. We have something absolutely enormous. So I'm going to need to have this one four up, just for this, just for the sake of this. Hmm... Where is my slope? Actually, I should make that a, uh, I should, I should make this a, uh, sheer slope. Okay, Luigi, move. We'll delete that later, but it needs to be a sheer slope, I think, for this one. Maybe. We'll do it like this, because they, they do have to jump up into the pipe, and you can still, and with this like this, you still should still get, be able to get up into that pipe, and even if you goof it. So yeah, the, the pipe will be up there. Uh, the safe space will be just over here once the pipe ends. And then we'll get rid of you. So, put thing here. And then I'm just gonna have it sneak around. Kind of have, have it get raided by Charles. Hi, Charles. Have it poop him out there. Thank you all for the raid. You're witnessing me make a level. A level that I've had cooking in the back of my head for a solid, a solid half a year. Now you're going to tell me you have the tech? Okay, so that's not super windy, but that'll be enough to de demonstrate. So I'll be pop the bomb and continue on. Okay, I know it's a bit for a stream raid, but I'm. But here's the thing: if we had Super Sonic Maker, you know how long people spend on stages here? They spend like you know, five to ten minutes on like really quick stages, or they spent or they spend like two hours on this. Have you ever seen like a, are you, have you ever seen like a, you know, like the map of a Sonic stage? Uh, this, like maximum size of one stage here, this, that's like a quarter, maybe even a sixth of what a Sonic stage is. Sonic stages are absolutely enormous because of speed <laughs> I 
Okay, so we make that. And then we come over here. Uh, we get another... Um, the level is about, is about the, uh, oh shoot, not that. The level is about the clear pipes and using them for safety. Okay. So we come over here, we let it run a little, it's course a little bit. And now we drill in the point that the pipes are safety. So then we put, uh, woman down. We put in a pipe he No, that's too low. Never mind. That's too high. That's too low. There we go. So then we put another pipe here. We have a twist and twirm and wormy squirmy all around. Up and down and all around. Oop, we can't do it like that apparently. I might need to remake this one. Also, that's not going to be the end. Uh, I might... I'm not sure... I'm going to move that away. I'm not sure if the stage is going to end yet. This might be a pretty short stage. Because there's only so much you can do with this concept. Oh yeah, I'd love it too. It's just... It would be an all-day endeavor to make a stage. One stage. At least if you want to make it halfway good. <laughs> So, let's see. Yep, pip, 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 pip. So, drop that there. Sure, put that there. And then we need some... We're gonna need some... We're gonna need some big... Uh, oop. Big lit boys. Two should be good. And again, focus the point. Focus the point of this is dangerous. Um, I'm going to put the ground in again, just so people don't try and jump on the bombs here. I'll put another sheer slope here, up here, when I get to the prettying up part of all this. And why not? We'll have a cameo from a Goomba. And a cameo from a Koopa Troopa inside the pipes here from the previous section. Hot Goomba on Goomba action? You got it, dude. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Thing is, you're going to stay small for this whole stage. I'm going to leave that ground like that there. <clears throat> so these boys will be a charge in. Uh, let's start them a little closer. And I think one other thing I want to try and do here is... Uh, do I want to do anything with, pro with Prime Plant shooting fire? I don't know if I want to do anything with Prime Plant shooting fire, actually. I don't think that will work out too well. I could actually... I could at this at that point move it to water and start having fun with the water enemies. Like I realize I don't need I don't need my stage to be super long. But in the end I still want to be a little longer than just this quick jaunt through the park, so to say. 
I think that's what I will do. So close out of this. So yeah, I think I'll move it to water at this point. So I'm going to do this. Because I am kind of running out of ideas how to how to keep on using this gimmick, so I'm gonna just I'm gonna leave it off on this one here. So I'm gonna do this, and I'll I'll give I'll be nice. I'll give the player the one up free if they get I'll I'll give the player the one up free if they get it. So we'll make it a little bit deep. And pipe. There you go. So two pipes. And we'll make this one. We'll make it red. But we'll back it up one space so people don't get pooped out in the wrong spot. And then refill that ground in there. So then here, what's going to happen is we're going to is uh, we're going to do a two thick wide wall here. And I think how this how it works in the engine is if you do a two thick high wall here like this, it creates the illusion that there is a barrier on the level over here. Now, how do you add a level? How do you add a sub level? Oh, I remember how you add a sub level. Hold on. All right, so there you go. Do that, and then for sub area two. I want to switch this to water, so we can play have some fun with water over here. Now then, now that we're in water, uh, now that we're in water, what enemies do we have available to us? Oops. Do we really not have that many water enemies? I can't use bloopers, because they're just going to go... I can't really use bloopers because they're going to like go about and do whatever they want. So it would have to be cheap cheeps. It would have to be base cheap cheeps. I could use Goombas again because they kind of follow and swim. But I don't remember if they get stuck on walls or not. Uh, mm, I can use these too. Okay. And I could use fish bones. I can't really use porky puffers because they are very mean underwater. Okay, so we can we can do this. So I'm gonna put cheap cheeps into the mix here. Okay, that's a jumping cheap cheap, that's a regular cheap cheap. Okay, that's fine. Do green cheap cheeps go straight or is it red that goes straight? Actually, I can I can check really quick here. So, here we go. okay, green keep going, red stop. So here, so we do this, and then we bust out that clear pipe because good lord, do we love clear pipes! So and now that we've now that you've done the song and dance so many times, now we can just kind of make it a quick exchange, where you just go into the pipe, where you just get into the pipe really fast. Uh, actually, if they're like this, the cheap cheeps actually need to be a couple squares back, because you move slower in water. So the cheap cheeps need to be a couple squares back. 
At least to give you time to also recognize what's going on as soon as you pop through. So do that. Alright, and then I thought I just thought of one that's really evil. So once you get over here, then what we'll do is we'll get we'll get a big we'll get a big red cheap cheap to patrol around another pipe. And I got to make the pipe so it's short enough where it won't cause inconvenience. Shoot, back up. I gotta make the pipe short enough where it won't cause inconvenience, but the whole idea is the cheap cheap's gonna sweep left. It will constantly sweep left and right underneath uh, where right where that pipe is. And what you have to do is time it so when he goes past the pipe, you are in the pipe, around and back out of the pipe by the time he's past it on the left. And then, of course, you have to get the heck out. Because I don't know how far his pattern is. Well, we'll test it right qu really quick here. So, I'll wait a second, because he patrols. Doesn't patrol far enough. Okay. So, that means I actually should start him, like, here. At least I'm hoping. Oh. I'm, uh, stuck in the pipe. Oops. Like that. And then get past him. There. And then I think the last... Again, this won't be a very big area here. So I'm going to make this really small. But I think the last one will be... Of course... Will of course be the... Uh, the dry fish... And that one's really just going to be simple. All you got to do is... All I really got to do is just go to, to hit you when you go into the pipe. This idea... I realize this idea kind of fell apart on me. Really quick-like. But we're going to make it happen anyway. Uh, oops. So... Da -da 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 buttons. Making making in uh, docked mode sucks. Unfortunately, it's the only way I made made levels. So, so we'll put we'll put them here. So, so make the level right there, and why not? We'll uh, we'll trap a couple in here. See how they work. But the idea of this one then is just, uh, once he sees you, is to go up into the pipe, so you either get away, or KO. Either way works. And that'll be it. That would be the level. Or that would be the end of that, of, of the level. Is it, is it short? Yes. Is it, but does it still do a good job? I hope. God, I hope so. Again, it's an idea I've had, but I kind of like shorter. I kind of like short levels that are somewhat intense, but are also friendly. Are kind of like you know how Nintendo would make a level friendly to almost anybody who would play it. So at this point, I just need to fill in as much as I can up here. Um, yeah, just gonna fill, 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 and down. And fill, fill, fill. And again, short level, simple level. And I can put little decor. And then what I like to do a lot of times is I'll put like little decorations inside of here as well. So once I get it all set out here, I might make little decorations here. But 
But this also tells me I can kind of just go, as long as I'm careful over uh, along this plate, along this axis right here, I can just kind of do this and I can fill in everything. And who knows, maybe my semi-rushed level I'm making here will be a level that somebody can go and look at and say, hey, I can do better with that, and we'll make their own level that's better than mine. Oops, I grabbed a piece. I'll fix that in a minute here. Stay put and let me fill you in. I just need this like this up here so people don't go looking outside the level for anything. And also this up here, just to create that like false boundary. All right. So, what kind of what kind of fun things can we put in there for uh, for decoration that won't hurt the player? Pokies? Pokies? Un Pokies underwater? Yeah, Pokey's underwater. Why not? Oh, did I miss? No, I didn't miss. Oh, we can make them. We can make Pokies as tall as we like. I like this. How short is short? We can make them too. Not that. Uh, well, I didn't mean to do this. I just wanted to make him taller. There. Just fill it in with pokies. They won't even be able to move. They'll just be there underwater for fun. Uh, what else can we do? Kamek would be a problem. Put some ant troopers. Put an ant trooper in here, just have him take, take a loop. Yeah, let's put some ant troopers in this. I mean, people won't spend a lot of time. Well, people will spend some time here waiting for this fish, so we'll have the ant trooper in here. We'll just have him do a loop. We'll just have we'll just have the good boy do a loop. We'll just have a couple good boys doing a loop. Oh no no, you need to go the other way, honey. Yeah, you know, they'll just have some fun there. Uh I think I think you can. I have an idea. I think I might be following you, but I think I have an idea. Again, these cannot kill the players, but I wonder. Dang it. Uh, undo. I wanted to give it a hat, okay? I wanted to give it a funny hat, but I don't think I can do it that way. But I think we can still do it. Oh, put that ground back. Uh, 
Maybe in the gizmos. Oh, I want to give him a funny hat. Well, I guess the way we're going to give him a funny hat is literally slapping the the uh po the uh the spiny shell on top of him. There, we'll do it like that. You live up here now. That, and then it'll go back through there. So then... Uh, oh, right. There, like that. And I think with that, we've got our level. Oof. Um... Is that going to be okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. It stopped right where the... Okay, perfect. Now, I could put an auto scroll on to make it rough. I think what I'll do, because it's not supposed to be a very long level, is I'll actually make it a 200 second level. Just so people understand, hey, this is not going to be a long level. And no clear condition. So yeah, area one, and then it'll just come out here. Uh, I need to make some ground down here, just so people can't die unexpectedly. And yeah, just a freebie. And why not? We'll put a... Just for the people to have fun, we'll put a tall boy in there. One tall boy. At this rate, I think it's just filling in the space I haven't done anything with at this point. So this, and it'll come over here. So bring it over here. Bring it all over here. Uh. All right, I did say I kind of want to make sure enemies can't follow you around in places. So I think at this point, we'll just kind of leave it in the little... At this area, kind of a little state of what it is. Because this area is pretty busy as is. And again, this is supposed to help teach you the concepts of everything. Oops, no, state. Also, is the game really quiet? I feel like the game is like super quiet now compared to not before. Okay. Okay. I just it just felt like it was really quiet to me, so I wanted to ask before I made a fool out of myself. All right. You know what? Here's where we get to become a little bit of a jerk. 
Are they? No, they're not in here. Okay, so... Just, just a little bit of a jerk move. And then fill in the rest about, around these pipes otherwise. Alright. And now comes the fun portion of just filling this in. Actually, there's a quicker way to fill this all in. At least I hope there is. So I'm going to fill in a grid here. And then I'm going to use the multi-select to grab up this. Shoot, that's not what I want to grab. Multi-select to grab up this grid like this. Then copy it. Just so I can... Do this. And, okay, grab the multi-grab again to grab up my grid and move this around. Ah, see, this is where it's already betraying me. See, I got to come one space up here. So yeah, it's it's a simple level. Your level level doesn't have to be a mad scientist creation whenever you make a level. Just something that makes somebody enjoy their time playing the game and not frustrated. That's how I feel anyway. And then we'll pre it up here in a minute with some uh, slopes. Well, some parts anyway. Go in there. We might actually need... We might actually not need to put too many slopes in to pretty it up now that I'm looking back at this. Like down here might make a couple slopes just to... Underneath just to make this better. Which, let me go get... Oh, I have gone through so many of these, I have lost the slopes. Ha ha. Alright. Gentle slopes. There he is. Just gentle with the slopes. Gentle. I gotta be careful how I do this, because I don't want to... Yeah, I don't want that to happen. That's what I want to happen. I guess we'll undo this. We we'll actually undo that one. I need to have this one be sharp because of the goom because of this go of how this uh, goomba will react. This one can f jump down. So yeah, I think at this point. We just fill, we fill in most of the rest down here. Again, I'm not some kind of tyrannical person. Well, actually, no. I actually need these holes. Unfortunately, I need the holes in this area. So I can't make this area look nice. Here, I can make it look nice because there's no hole to fall into. 
So, bust out the, uh... I guess I can't really do much with the slope there anyway. Okay, we'll leave it at that. So that's done, that's filled in. Drop down here, use the bomb to get up there, dodge the two lit boys. Hopefully I did that right. We'll play in a minute, to we have to test it in a minute, so. And I did, okay. So let's give it a test play. Oh yeah, semi-solid, that's right, uh, to make it look nicer, thank you. So how do those work? Uh, I want this I want this one to appear open to the air up here. That's how they work, okay. Okay, so they have to be clear behind here, so... Oh, pinning it. Okay, got it. Uh, yeah, not in this team. Okay, I know I'm gonna undo it. We're not gonna have these semi-solid platforms. I would like to have use them, but I don't think it's gonna work how I want them to be worked. Well, maybe I can have a little fun with them down here. That defeats the purpose of this. Okay, maybe I won't mess around with it. Ah, right, I need to fill in the ground here. that and then pipe pipe leads to underwater area which will lead to this all right I think we got I think we got a level and I want and I'm gonna complete it once in this mode I'm gonna complete it once in th like this I'm gonna play it once like this just so we can have just so I can move things around if things don't work out well hmm I might need to get rid of his wings Yep, I gotta get rid of his wings. Luigi got stuck. So try again. So, goad. Oh. And that's where this level will be fun, because... Oh, that's where this level gets to be fun. Because then, even even something like that, you can screw up. Me, the level maker, screwed that. Wait, wait, wait. Go. Uh-oh. I found my difficulty spike, huh? Ooh. I like how I did this once, actually, already. And now I can't do it. This is fine, this is fine. Okay. I see what I can do to fix this. Hold on. So, Luigi, come over here. So. 
We make the pipe again, but we make it one tile bigger. That's actually two tiles bigger, isn't it? Like that. Okay, so come down here. Hmm. Okay, that doesn't work. So that means we have to get rid of this pipe and... I guess I have to be a little bit nicer about this in general. No, not that. Not that either. Okay, so we have to make it a little bit longer. Hmm. One more, because I got. I think I can get it. Okay, that's tight timing, but we'll take it. Level's gonna have a little bit of difficulty in it, so we'll take that. Oh, I don't want you three to activate yet. Okay. So there's a problem here. Going in the pipe activates these. So I may not use be able to use cars. And apparently he can go down, which I don't like that he can go down through a one-tile space. So, bye. Alright. I have a solution here. It's called a tall boy. Except a not-so-tall boy. God, I hope this works. See, this is why you play it here instead of way later. No. Up. Then right. Dang it. Why does it always want to hang a left like that. Well, actually, what I can do is I can make it one tile lower. There, like that. Okay, but now I have to go down here. Oh no, this will work out fine. Oh, we have to come down here and see if it works. So, put Luigi in front of the pipe. Hopefully I'll just like despawn them. So also so the player gets a little bit of a heads up on what's coming. So wait for wait for little spiky boy to come along. Jump in pipe. And they'll keep on that straight and narrow. There we go. So it's like, aha, where are they? Where are the cars? Oh no, the boys. The boy oh, I messed up my own boys. <laughs> come with me, boys. I may only need two for this. Oop. Okay, this... Hmm. 
May only need two boys for this. I managed to find the perfect place to put this pipe where they can or you can they can trounce on you. So delete a boy. No, 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 leave it there. Okay, trigger the boys. Okay, this is awkward. That tells me that this pipe is too long. Because the idea I really want to put forth here is that you can't just step on them. So you have to let them do their do this thing. Ooh. Well, this will be fine because Yeah, even in a even in a perfect scenario, you can't really get out of there with the car. So the car won't be an issue. I'll leave that one like that then. So come down here. And then bomb jump. Uh. Or some pseudo bomb jump. Aw, oh, you're going to tell me that part's too close together. Dang it. Okay. So then... We're going to make this over here, so... Hopefully this will work out how I'm wanting it to. So, bring this over here. Grab him, put him back in the pit here. Okay, so come down here. Nothing else will be happening, so. Okay, I know how to make, I'll, how to force you to do it. So where are those destructible blocks? Which means I have to get rid of the nice surface, but whatever. All right, then we should be able to just fill. Oh, not that. Uh, so we should just be able to fill this in a little bit over here. Oh, with two ham. Don't worry, I'm finding creative solutions for my own problems. So, bring the Ouija over here. So then it forces the player to come up here. Let the let the bomb do its thing. Perfect. And then, oh no, Fusey boys! Okay, this pipe didn't need to be this long, but I'm gonna leave it as is. Oh, I'm, I think I messed... Yeah, I messed up my own thing. Okay. This is still fine. So that means I should probably move these guys a little bit more forward then. Yeah, in fact, I will do that. So... Grab these two. I bring them a little further forward because I didn't think... I didn't think that, uh, the movement was going to be that much of an issue. So come back here. And I'm out of the pipe. There, now they go on their way. And then you're met with this. Okay, the hats didn't work, but it's fine. We'll leave them like that. So you come over here. Get bopped because you're bad at your own design. Go in the pipe. 
And with that, the level's finished. All right. Let's do it. Uh, not that. All right, then. <sighs> so what's the name? I'm thinking kind of alliteration. I'm thinking clear pipe keep away. That's what's going through my head is clear pipe keep away. What does that sound like to you guys? Does that kind of give an idea of what the level is going to be like? Also, sorry about that. I have a bunch of pings. All right, clear. Let's go with that then. So, fix this. Oop. Uh. Did it wrong again. Alright. Clear pipe keep away. Now I forget how you... Ah, that's how. You can make a hundred courses, I just realized. Yes, I am. Clear pipe keep away. Wee! Look at him go! <laughs> ah! Right, the difficulty. I forgot about my own difficulty. I would make it a small Goomba, if not for the fact people would just jump on the Goomba to get out of there right away. So introduce the introduce this hazard. There we go. So the boys will go back to sleep over there. We'll get over here just in time for the pokey to start turning around. So we get that and we come over here and oh no, the boys! The boys, they coming! Ah. You know what, it's fine, it still gets across the point. Yeah, it still gets across the point, so we're fine. So, yep. Ugh. Oh, all right. I did bad. <laughs> See, this isn't going to be that, like, this is going to be, this is probably on the harder scale of levels I'll make. At least from what I'm doing so far. Double blocks your spawn for that first pipe with them. You know, that's fine. It still kind of gives a, a feeling of dread. That's kind of what I want to do, is just give the feeling of, oh, if you don't do it just right, 
If you don't do it just right, you're, or if you wait too long, you're gonna go through the floor. And then I present it later on with a, okay, if you actually screw it up, you're gonna go through the floor. No second guess, no second chances. Life will change. Bye. All right, there's that. Okay, so acquire boys. Again, acquire, acquire boys. Now you could boot, boot, uh, book it right if you want to at that point. Mm, he's not hitting the wall. Well, that works out fine. This is all fine. I'm now realizing some of the issue with my design here and that, that people could just walk away from the bombs, but that's fine. They don't want to play to the rules, that's fine at that point. Alright, and I think the time limit is perfect as well. Considering I'm down to the last 80 seconds and I'm on the second to last obstacle. Ooh, I almost got caught by that one. Perfect. And tall boy. You know what? That's I think that's perfect. That's about perfect as perfect as we'll get for a level. So hey, you and me together. Big brains alike. We made with with some of your help. We made we made a level. These enemies have you trapped in tight corridors. Use the Pipes to escape. Yet another expl exclamation point. Perfect. So I'm going to put stand. I'm going to label it standard and shooter, by the way. Link, by the way. Uh. Is there a timing? No, there's not. Uh, technical? I'm gonna say technical single player. Because I don't know how it's gonna work with multiplayer, so I don't want to make it multiplayer. And of course the community can kind of rework its description if they don't like what it is. Okay. So I'm going to take a print screen of this. I'm going to take a print screen of this really quick so I can upload it to Twitter after we're done. In fact, I'm going to up, I'm going to pull up my handy dandy screenshot tool so I don't accidentally copy over something once I'm done streaming. And we'll see how that goes. We're done. We did it. Now, just to say my own curiosity, I wonder if they added anything to story mode. This might prop this might prompt me to make uh, additional 
level. This might be probably make like additional videos on this. And I'm just checking here because I want to see if they added other levels because of the new stuff they've added. No, they haven't. Okay. Yeah, this is a, this is a clear, this is a 100% clear file, by the way, so. Oh, let's see. So I wanted to make that level. Let's do a little bit of, I'll put it on, I'll put it on regular expert. Or, you know, I'll just do a couple. Uh, I'll just do a couple network play of uh, multiplayer versus, and then we'll probably wrap up the stream shortly after that. Just playing some multiplayer. Will it lag? Of course it will, but I figured I should do something with this game more than just make a level. But man, that level's, that level's going to be fun to make. And I'll, I'll post on Twitter what's, if I get any responses, how, how people like it, if you guys want to see that. Taco Bell, eh? Well, thank, well, thank you for watching. I'll wait. Oh, there's only gonna be one, okay. Oh, it respawns, okay. This is going to be a nightmare, isn't it? Oh. I think I just caused somebody to get KO'd. Ah. Um. Oh, I see it. Okay. Hit it again. There you go. Okay, so... I'm the only one with the helmet, man. Uh, I'll leave. So, sword and shield. Shield is... Okay, shield is just holding down. Yeah, okay. The controls for using Link are a little, a little, really a little complex. Oh, that guy's already got the key over there. Oh, shoot. The lag's getting to me, man. I want, nope, they didn't see what's going on. They didn't see what's going on. Too smart. Uh, did someone disconnect? Oh, I, I was on the flagpole. Never mind. <laughs> I thought somebody disconnected because everything just froze. Nobody saw! I'm gonna hit it with a meh. Alright, that's a good one to start off with. I am the greatest. I am the best. Don't worry, it's not a dab yet. Come 
calm air occurred. All right, so yeah, I think I'm gonna play until roughly the top of the hour here. Oh! Odin has already played the level. I got a, I got a t-shirt. Hold on. I got a shirt. Yo. Okay. Perfect. Odin. Odin out here just clearing levels. I hope you like, I, well, other than the actual notification, I hope you enjoy, I hope you did enjoy a level. I'm going to look at the comment. I'm going to put you on the spot. Nah, I'll leave, I'll leave it for myself. Yeah, it's a short, it's a short, sweet level. And I, and I, it was an idea that's been cooking in the back of my head for about six months now. And I figured, hey, what better time to make the level than when there's a huge update for Mario Maker 2. It was just supposed. To, it was just supposed to be like the cars were coming at you, so you had to back up into the pipe and avoid them. That was the only bit. I probably could have handled that better, but yeah. Because even in test play, it was like, huh? You kind of just. Yeah, that's kind of what I happened when I was testing. Is just like, huh? I just kind of jumped on them out of the pipe and defeated them that way. Eh, oh well. Ooh, actual multiplayer levels. Oh, I'm Ouija. Yeah, I'm Ouija. I want to see where people go. Uh, oh, you want to go up? Okay. It's on. This guy is clearly not playing the team sport. Oh, this is agony. Oh, this is agony. Oh, this one goes fast. Never mind. Oh, I see. Oh, I held down. Dang it. Well. Okay, that wasn't as, that was one of my greatest design or idea. It's fine. It was still fun. I like it. Look at that. If you say I like it, it appears more in the, in the multiplayer search and not anywhere else. 
I'm gonna play some more. Super World Super Mario World Nostal okay. So what kind of level have you made, sir? Oh, you took one you took Yoshi's Island too, but you made it. Have fun up there, buddy. Oh! <laughs> I love I love the st stuff that happens in this game sometimes. I think that guy is going to respawn too actually. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, it's not that one. I thought it was. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Alright, that was a good level. It not really fit for multiplayer, so I'm just gonna give it a meh, but it was a, it was a good level. Oh, for my level? Here, I'll just slide on screen here while we wait. If you're looking for my level, that's what it that's what it is. In a very awkward appearance. Hey, I'm Luigi. Oh God, what is your? What's wrong with your face? Ah, I get it. It's a poon. Really? Oh, sweet Christmas alive! Get off the McDonald's Wi-Fi! Oh my Lord! Monty Mole, thank you. Okay, hold it, hold it. Oh, oh God. Damn, Harry, you play Monster Hunter like this? <laughs> ah! Okay, thank you. <laughs> I didn't panic, you panicked. That wasn't the play. I was gonna slide. <laughs> I'm, uh... Anyone else get the name of that bus? You can have it. Hey, let's try this again a little more sensibly, huh? Oh, hold on. They put on the Burger King Kids Club connection.
We take those. We take those L's. Oh! That's a fire flower. That could be mine if I was diligent enough, you know. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. Uh, nope, we're back at the McDonald's Wi-Fi. Whee! Okay. Yeah, I have seen how your Monster Hunter runs. You you have also seen how I've also told you stories about how how I was, you know, top DPS in my raiding guild with a fantastic 3 FPS on a laptop. I've told that story before. All right, I think one or two more. I think one or two more of these multiplayer maps and then I'll probably end up calling it a stream. Listen, man, if you know your rotations, you don't, you don't have to worry so much about what's going on on screen. If you just get an internal clock of press 1, press 2. By the way, I, did I mention I played uh, Elemental Shaman, which I which at that point in the game literally had three spells? Yeah, that might have something to do with it. Press one, press one, press one, press two, press one, press one, press three, press one, press one, press two, press one, press one, press one, press two, press one, press one, press three, press one. Let's go, nerds! Oh! Oh, Mamma Mia! That one's mine. You can get your own. Jump. There you go, smart boy. You know, it's fine. Oh, we can do damage to Junior? Okay. Didn't know... That's something I didn't know is you could deal damage to Junior. Bye, Boom Boom. We probably have to kill Boom Boom. What? Dang it. Alright. That's mine. Okay. Really? <laughs> oh God! Ah, oh, dang it. Where's the door? Okay, I'm just gonna... Oh, front doors. I'm back at the beginning. Drop that F in the chat. <laughs> Can I get up here? I cannot. I, w I went too short. Alright. Thank you for ending my suffering. Oh, that was just the clear condition. That wasn't the end yet.
Yeah, the third Goomba I knew was going to have really tight timing. <sighs> End my suffering. <laughs> I'm gonna hit by fire. Block's not there. Pfft, we both did the same thing. Oh no, it's sh I'm hoping the level was, was short enough. I was hoping the level was short enough that it wouldn't need checkpoints. Kind of the other part of it. I, to I forgot about checkpoints, but I figured it'd be short enough that it wouldn't need them. All right, uh, this is, I'm going to boo it because this is definitely not a multiplayer level. And I think with that, I think I'll actually call it, I think I'll actually call it here. Because friends want to play Borderlands, so I'm going to head off so we can do that. Um, does anybody have any questions for me before I end off, before I end off stream tonight? Also, just a reminder... I'm not going to show comments. I can't. There you go. So, if anyone wants to play a level, there you go. But yeah, is there any questions you guys want to ask before I end off stream tonight? And while, while I wait for those, I'm going to go see where we can get... Those of you guys who still want to watch some, some stuff on Twitch tonight, let me see if I can't get you somebody else to watch for the evening. I'm tempted to hand it over to Fark because he's playing Trials of Mana, something I offered to stream if we went long enough, but I'm not going to stream any longer tonight, so we'll... Not even a joke question. Nair, are you feeling well? Are you okay? Do you have the Dane Bramage? But yeah, if I, have my ch if I have my choice, we'll probably go with Fark because he's playing Trials of Mana. And like I said, it's really good. Like, I've only played about an hour of it, but it's really good. <laughs> Um, so here's your options I will give you guys though tonight. Uh, you can, uh, Ultranic24, Dominic, he is playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Madame Wario is playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Botanic Sage is also playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Excuse me. Uh, Slim Kirby is doing a Link to the Past randomizer seed. I'm not sure what the conf confines are on that. Or, as I said before, uh, Farfik Nugan, who is just, or Farfin Nugan, who was just in here a little bit earlier, he's, he's playing Trials of Mana. So, my vote is Farf, but you guys have your choice. So again, it's Alternic playing Smash Ultimate. He's going to switch over to uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Uh, Madame Wario or Botanic Sage, both playing Animal Crossing. Slim Kirby doing a, a Link to the Past randomizer. Or Farf playing Trials of Mana. Okay, I have one person sharing my sharing my uh, wants. Is anybody else going to jump on that train? Uh, and I should say... Right now, if anybody's curious about myself, I'm currently do my party is currently my my party is currently Kevin, Charlotte, and Reese, but I haven't gotten far enough to even get Charlotte yet, or any other party members. And unfortunately, Charlotte is she. I mean, it's she's a child or a sprite, one or the other, but she goes in full ah uh, woo uh, speak. Hello, my name's Charlotte. And I feared for the game that that in that exact moment. Also, my favorite my favorite voice in the game so far is Gourmand. 
Anyway, so nobody else has any input. I think we're just going to go over to Farf here. So, what would you guys want to do for raid missions? I kind of want to goad him into picking Charlotte by just saying, you know, message, hello, my name's Shawit. Uh-oh, Shade sniping records out here. So we could do, my name's Shawit with uwu speak, or we could find something else. Or we could just raid and not say anything. I like that. All right. Let's do that. Let's follow Nara on this, on this train. Nara, you've given us a great thing. So let's go, let's go get, let's go raid Farf. And again, the message is what Nero just put there. So thanks for everybody for coming out. Um, Monday night. I'm not sure if I'll go back to Monster Hunter yet, or if I'll decide to hop back on to Borderlands 2, or if I'll do something else entirely, or if I'll do something else entirely, maybe Trials of Mana. I don't know yet. I'll figure that out in the next couple days. But in the meantime, you folks have a great rest of your weekend. Good choice. Good work. Or not. Or not. Or not. Or not. Oh, a raid. Not.